Hello, hello, good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. So yesterday I uh, flew the DC-6 VOR to VOR and I enjoyed it so much, I thought I'd do another flight today. Uh, today we're in the uh, DC-6 Red Bull livery. So yes, apparently they have a Red Bull livery. And we are in New Zealand today uh, at the at Nelson Airport on the South Island. And we're going to fly up to Auckland using uh, VOR. So, yeah, so I'm starting to enjoy this plane again. All right, so let's just quickly jump over and look at little nav map for now. So, there, <clears throat> this is where we are. So, we're down here in uh, Nelson Airport, and there's Auckland up there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fly across down towards Wellington and then go up along the coast at some point following the BORs and then into Auckland yeah but I want to try and stay over the la overland I don't want to really go over the water so much and uh, yeah we'll do it that way righty so let's uh, jump into the cockpit we are parked up at uh, stand four or ramp four in our. Let's see, there was a way you could park. There we go. And let's open up the window. There we go. So we've got a nice uh, breeze coming in. Okay, so let's uh, start by prepping the aircraft. So we've got no G. Oh, why do we have still have GPS there? I don't want GPS. So let's get rid of that GPS. So there is the GPS. We don't want that. So let's get rid of that. Um, options, and there we go. There's no way to save that. Is there? It would seem not. Okay, so we've got no GPS. All right, so if we uh, go back up there, we are plain and simple today. All right. Not sure Red Bull flies without GPS, but yeah, let's uh, let's do that anyway. All right. So, we have live weather today. I'm sure we have live weather. Yep, live weather is initiated. So first things first, let's just set our GPS there, uh, our Barrow, sorry, there we are, and let's get things underway. All right, before start. There we go. Voice recorder. Taste it. Oil coolers and cow flaps. Water and position. Fuel and fluids. Checked. Pressurization. Sit. Manifold and duct pressure. Checked. So we've got the radios on now, have we? Hey, Solar Hook, mate, how are you? Okay, radios have come on. So we're doing a VOR to VOR DC-6. New Zealand, South Island to Auckland. Yeah, and we're in the Red Bull livery today. So, no, no GPS. Justin, throttles, 
set to idle. There we go. Propellers. Forward and three. Okay. Before start checks complete. Start engines. Good, good. So let's start the engines. Um so we've got engine three set. Let's go up to engine three. All that is okay. Okay, let's start engine three. How are you doing, Solo? Whoa, boop, boop. There we go. Okay, engine three is up. Everything is clicking off now. And then we'll start engine four. Come on. There we go, there we go. And let's start engine four. Go up top, engine four, engine selector four. Fuel down and start. Engine Three. four is rotating. Six. Nine. Twelve. Boost and prime. There we go. And then these will switch off. There we go. Boost and prime off. Right, engine two. There we go, fuel to low. Start. No? Hold on, what have I forgotten? Ah! Sorry. Engine selector and start. Three. There we go. Six. Five. Twelve. Boost and prime. There we are. Okay, and the last engine. There we go. Magnetos, engine selector, fuel pump, starts. Boost and prime. And there we are. Fly wheels, how's it? How you doing, mate? Thanks for the follow. Okay, let's shut up, shut that uh, captain gadget. Wow, I've been promoted. I'm a captain now. Mamba Gator Simulations. Mamba, after the black Mamba or the green Mamba. How are you, my friend? Thank you for the follow. So we're just doing a VOR to VOR. Let me just shut this window because it's a little bit noisy. There we go. All right. <laughs> yep, window shut. All right. So we're doing a flight. Uh, South Island, New Zealand, from Nelson to, yeah it did, a little bit, I can hear it in my headphones, uh, yeah so we're going from Nelson on the South Island, New Zealand to uh, Auckland and we're flying VOR to VOR only, no GPS today, after start checklist, there we go. Off and off. 
battery switch. Claim benching. Generators and inverters. Checked and on. Emergency lights. Bombed. Ground power. Removed. There we go. So we should all be set up nice. Ground power's gone, so that's also good. Okay, I I heard it in my headphones. Okay, let's uh, do this. Let's program our uh, V on uh, Nav One. So let's see, what is our first VOR? So our first VOR is uh, one one four one one four six zero. So let's do that. One one four six zero. There we go. And then our second is one one two thirty. So let's put that in as well. 11230 as our standby. And hopefully we should see something. Okay, maybe we don't. Let's try something else. DME. Frequency. One one four. I don't think that's what. Hold on. Let's have a look. One one four. Sixty. It should be interesting. Let's pop that down and see what that does. Does that give us anything? One one four. One one four. No. Got to be that. Okay. We'll get in the air and figure that out. Maybe we're getting blocked out by some of the mountains. That also happens. So let's uh, start our taxi. Here we go. Time to get rolling. There we are. Everything here down here is good. Taxi. So where are we taxiing to? also a good thing to figure out okay so we are going to be taxiing straight down here so let's go let's run over him yep and uh, let's get to our runway Gisborne. Is there a, an airport for that on uh, Flight Sim Yo? I used to work in uh, Auckland, so uh, yeah, for me, that's important. Okay, I used to work for a little company called Two Degrees, mate. I made uh, I made all the SIM cards in New Zealand. Yeah, Two Degrees. Okay. Let's do before checklist before takeoff. Let's do that. Boost pumps on low. Fuel selector and cross feed. Main tanks and cross feed all. So here's the gust lock, so that's gotta become unlocked as well. Off and cold. Hydraulic system. Down, forward, pressure and quantity checked. Okay. Flaps going down. Flaps 
Controls. Dust lock released. There we go. And that removes the throttle gate as well. Peter heater coming on. Mixture and cow flaps. Bridge unlocked. Set. Transponder. Transponder on. Landing lights. Landing lights are coming on and nothing yet when we get our VOR it will come up in here or at least that's the plan okay let's line up hope this runway is long enough There we go. Doesn't look long enough, does it? <laughs> Take off. There we go. So here it's going to go to 30 inches and then wait for stabilization. 30 inches of mercury. I got my uh, feet on the brakes. There we go. Cow flaps. Set. I'll close in. Full power, please. Going full power. Full power. We'll release the brakes at 40. There we go. And we are on our way. We're going to fly runway heading for a little bit. Just so we can pick up the uh, full power set. VOR. Come on. Give me some speed. I have the need for speed. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. Rotate. And there we are. Oh. Positive rate. Gears going up. Okay, do we have a VOR yet? Come on. So we'll fly this head in for a little bit. If not, we'll go to the next VOR, no problem. I think it's because of the um, these mountain range over here. But let's go up to our flight Flaps level. Up. Flaps going up. We're going to be uh, going up to flight level 5000 today. go let's keep our uh, climb at about a thousand feet per minute would be all right There we are, that's okay. Give me that VOR. Where are you? We've got a yacht down there. Okay, let's try and find this VOR. Let's see if we move to the other one. Do I get something? Nope, still no VOR. Okay, I know I have to fly east. So let me start to fly east. 
let's just wait till we get to our cruise uh, height of 5,000 feet. We're nearly there. So what we can do is uh, put the gyro pilot on and there we go. Okay. And we are waiting for our flight level there. Let's now fly east. So let's turn right and maybe we'll pick it up that way. There we are, nearly at 5,000 feet. Okay, we got a VOR. There it is. So let's uh, have a look. I've got a VOR there, forty-six point two. But why hasn't the needle shifted? Okay, carry on turning. Here we are, one one four six zero. One one four six zero. Okay, hold on. Oh shit, I forgot my uh, my flight level. <laughs> oh, so focused on finding that VOR. Let's drop our nose down. There we are. Okay. We'll just continue east for now. Let's have a look. Are we going east? Yes, we are going east. Or is that a DME? Let's have a look. Let's see if we can pick up the other one. Nope, it's still far away. Let's try this. No worries, we're still flight east. Wow, why am I still climbing? Set cruise power, please. Cruise power. Cruise power. And drop the nose down. There we go. We are getting close to the VOR anyway. Three, seven. Yep, we are moving towards it. We're just moving a little bit east. Cruise checks are complete. There we go. And let's uh, set our uh, flight level. There we go.
5,000 feet. A little bit of turbulence coming up off the um, hills below us. There we go, 5,000 feet. Okay. Ooh, bumpy up here. Are we getting the other view or what? Let's have a look. Why are these needles locked? Let's try this. Sixty. Yeah. Let's fly it higher. Maybe we're too low to pick up the uh, VORs here. up to 7,000 
we are heading in the right direction because we're getting a countdown at that VOR. You are to be there. Interesting. Why don't we have? Let's see, we're we picking up that one. Okay, I am confused. Why am I not picking up any? I've got that. I know there is a VOR there. The needle doesn't move. Okay. Seven and a half thousand feet. We're definitely defend, uh, decreasing in the range to the VOR. That's there. But I've got nothing there. Can't even tap it. <laughs> Why? Why? So let's switch to the next VOR, which should be 30. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay, there we go. We've got one. Okay, so 27 nautical miles. Let's turn towards that. There we go. Turning towards it. And we should be good. Couple of more turns there. Let's do a gentle turn. There we are. Bang! Right on the money there with VOR to. Who's that? Hey, Fabian! Hey, how are you? You alright? Just took off from uh, Nelson and now just lining up with the VOR at um, Wellington. There we are. Alright on our way to the Wellington VOR Baguettine thank you thank you thank you for the follow mate cheers thanks a lot Fabian for the raid wow okay I enjoyed the flight so much yesterday that I decided that I want to um, do another one just to get some practice 
So this is a VOR, VOR, uh, no GPS, and we're flying. We just took off from Nelson in New Zealand on the South Island, and we're heading up to Auckland in the, on the North Island. And, um, whoa, there we go. Sorry, wrong one. Um, and now we've got the VOR. So that's lined up there and uh, we are 19 nautical miles from that our first VOR uh, let me put in the next one 11710 is the next frequency so 11710 is the next frequency so there we go And uh, yeah, bit of cloud cover today. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down to um, 5,000 feet so that we can uh, get a bit of uh, scenery, this lovely New Zealand scenery. So starting our descent down to 5,000 feet. Let's do a thousand feet per minute. There we go. Thousand feet per minute. Okay, let's drop down to 5,000. Here we go. We're dropping down. Bit cloudy we got live weather running so uh, yeah I'm not making this up it's uh, live weather doing all of that let's uh, turn a bit towards the VOR again here we go Come on. And we're okay now. There we go. Get down to 5,000 feet. We can get under this weather, hopefully. If not, we'll drop to 4,000 feet. I want to see the scenery. So how far away from the VOR? We are seven nautical miles from the VOR, perfectly lined up for that VOR. And then we got another VOR. Which we should be able to pick up as well. 5,000, no, we're going to carry on descending to, to 4,000 so we can get some of that scenery. There we go, 4.7, 4 nautical miles. Let's wait for the VOR needle to uh, disappear and we'll turn to the next VOR. Oh, really bad weather up here today. 2.7 nautical miles.
Okay. There we go. Needle's going to start to spin. There it goes. And we have passed the VOR. Let's uh, go to our next VOR. One one seven. Right, I know I have to fly north. So let's fly north. Flying north. Here we go. There we go, 4,000 feet. Wow. Seriously bad weather. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go and we are going to change this to a UK Indian summer. There we go. Uh, where are you? UK Indian Summer, Bank. Because I'd like to see. There we go. I like to see a bit of scenery. There we go. So we're still flying north, okay. I think I'm going to be, I'm going to pick up the uh, VOR. I think I'm going to pick up the VOR after this uh, mountain range. Actually then, let's uh, increase our climb. We will increase our climb. Because we're only at 4,000 feet, so if I can get something above the peak. Oh, the VOR's come up. And there's the needle for the VOR. So we'll turn towards the VOR needle. There you go, it's off again. <laughs> so it will come back. There it is, it came back again. Let's do our altitude first. We'll say at 5,000 feet. We are 5,000 feet. Perfect. And now we'll turn towards our VOR. Seriously? Okay, we'll wait. It'll come. There it goes. Okay. Let's turn. Get it lined up at least before it disappears again. 62 nautical miles out. And there we are. Okay, on our way. Yep, all lined up with the VOR perfectly. There we are.
Perfect. We should be fine. Nice safe leg altitude. I think. Let's see, what sort of heights are we looking at here? Oh, that one, that peak there looks a bit sketchy, doesn't it? I think we should be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Good. All looks good. How many people out there have uh, the DC-6? This is my second time I've been flying it after about four months and I just didn't realize how beautiful she flies. still lined up on the uh, VOR and uh, we are 53 nautical miles out from the VOR let's do this let's uh And let's set up for our next VOR, which is 11440. 11440. 11440 is our standby VOR. It is a beautiful plane, no doubt. And it's flying over a beautiful country, man. New Zealand, such a beautiful country. It's a shame it's so far away from the UK. <laughs> Takes forever to get there. Here we go. There we go, 42 nautical miles to the VOR and then we will pick up the next VOR which takes us towards uh, Auckland. And I'm going to use a localizer approach and uh, attempt to bring it in using the gyro pilot.
which I did try I did yesterday um, at uh, in Lisbon so yeah that sort of worked okay Good. 37 nautical miles to the next VOR. Breathtaking scenery. What more can you ask for? Beautiful plane. go all that looks okay no stressed out engines we're okay Thirty-one nautical mile. What is our ground speed? Our ground speed is two hundred and thirty-three knots, and we are flying north to the North Island. Look at the detail in this cockpit. It's just lovely. As those go up, yep, they go up as well. There we go. Don't need an armrest, do I? There we go, jump seat as well. There we are. Whoops. Some of the animations are really, really nice. Um, all the fuse box there is all functional but I dare not trip any of them because I have no idea what they do. Well, I know what fuses do, but I don't know what they'll switch off. Uh, animated stairs as well for the, uh, um, the exits. And as you um, know that uh, the window also opens both sides. I wonder. Let's have a look. If I does it let me do it? No. Ah, can't open the window while I'm up in the air. That's a shame. Let's just line up with a uh, two clicks right. Line up. There we go. Coming through. And we are good. 21 nautical miles to the next VOR. To be fair, I mean, you know, we, we fly the fly-by wire A320, we've got everything in the GPS, in the flight plan, you take off and you hit autopilot and you sit back. And the next bit of interaction 
is when you have to land at the top of descent. Flying VOR to VOR is just uh, really nice. You got you have your maps and you know which direction you're supposed to point the nose and then try and look for the VOR. Once you find the VOR, you're on your way. It's just so much more satisfying, I, I feel. I think on all my general aviation stuff, I'm going to fly VOR, VOR. No more GPS nonsense. I mean, you could do it in an airline, an airliner as well. But yeah, GPS just makes more sense in the tube liner, I suppose. Fuel all looks good. Here we are, 16 nautical miles. And then we head off to the VOR, New Plymouth. One one four four zero. There we are. Bit of adjustment to the VOR direction there. We don't want to go too much off track. There we are. And then we fly over an airport, which I am not familiar with. I don't know which airport this is. Let's have a look. Can we see that airport down below? I have no idea which airport that's going to be. Ohakia, Ohakia Airport. Should be coming up to that airport now. If it is in the scenery, it should be. I think that could be it there. Five nautical miles and then we'll switch BOR. Yep, there's an airport. There it is. Oh, what was it called again? Ohakia. There we are. Okay, we'll change our VOR in a nautical once we pass the airport
There we go. We can start to see the uh, VOR needle spin as we pass that VOR. There we go. All right. Let's switch frequency. There we go. Okay, in my map it says I have to go to heading 301. So let's do that. So heading 301. And then we should pick up. So there's 300, 300. So we'll stay on 300. There we go. good 300 and let's see what happens we should pick up the needle there one one four four zero is what it was one one four four zero one one four four zero that's correct be picking it up it'll come in I suppose we stay this heading on them as per the map and we'll be okay a little bit more Three hundred. There we go. There we go. We should be fine. Come on. Takes so long. Oh, there we go. There's the VOR. I'm so impatient. And there we go. We're lined up with the VOR. Uh, we're lined up with the VOR. 76 nautical miles to go there. And it's still popping in and out of service. We're okay. I'm going to look forward to the landing of this one because the landings can get quite technical. I'm just looking at my map. All right. Yeah, it should be straightforward.
Famous last words. So, I'm going to be using a localizer. So let's uh, set that localizer. Which is 110.30. So 110.30. I'll set this to 110.30. And that is the localizer at Auckland. And that should set us up for a nice landing, hopefully. Actually, we'll use another VOR, 11640, and then I will one one six one one six forty, and then I will switch to the localizer frequency when I'm closer to the airport. we are So at uh, Auckland we have a uh, localizer fix at 3,000 feet uh, and that will bring us into the glide slope. So the way it works is that once you set your localizer frequency up here and you want to bring in the localizer there is a switch here on the gyro pilot. Um, can we see that properly? No, we can't. So let's just zoom in. So there is a gyro pilot, localizer and approach. So once you set your frequency, your localizer frequency, and you're about to line up with the runway, um, you can set that to localizer and it should pick up the localizer. Once you've picked up the localizer, you can switch it to approach and then it should capture the glide slope in this dial here and then using the cross we can determine using our throttle to keep it center so the right height and the right left and right so that the, the, the vertical uh, versus the horizontal and then hopefully we should be able to land this baby this gyro pilot is like the precursor to the autopilot we know today. Um, very, very mechanical. So you switch on the gyro pilot here and there is the clutch to engage the gyro pilot. And then it uses the altitude control. This is the trim wheel for up and down and that's left and right. And those are your attitude indicators here. So yeah, very, very mechanical. Far from the, uh, the fly-by-wire stuff we've seen today in, in modern aircraft.
I'm assuming we have 160 nautical miles, uh, judging by that there. But uh, yeah, that's as the crow flies, distance to gate, and uh, an estimated uh, time on route 41 minutes. No, mate, the fly-by-wire is not crap. I'm talking about fly-by-wire in, in, in terms of aircraft today, fly-by-wire, yeah? Not the brand fly-by-wire. And actually, the A320 is nice. It's all right from fly-by-wire. Uh, I, I mean, I'm happy with it. It's, uh, it's getting better and better and better every day or sometimes three times a day <laughs> yeah I mean I don't know about the Phoenix um, if I will get that um, but I'm definitely waiting for the 737 that is my um, ultimate um, my most favorite aircraft in P3D That's a 737 a DC-3. I've never actually flown the DC-3. Who makes it? Is that also PMDG, is it? The DC-3? But I don't think they're bringing out the DC-3 anytime soon, are they? I've not even heard anything about it. Oh, they're bringing it out specially for you, are they? So there we go. I've got my head tracking on just to make sure. There we go. Lovely scenery down there. Yeah, I mean, this is my homemade DIY head tracking um product luckily i have access to a 3d printer about two meters away from me and uh yeah diy head tracker using open track works perfectly so we are 41 nautical miles away from our next waypoint, which is uh, New Plymouth. The settlers were so creative with uh, some of their cities, weren't they? We're from Plymouth, let's call this place New Plymouth. All right. Although I believe the origin of the word New Zealand is Danish, which I was surprised about. It's named after the region Sealand in Denmark. And of course, they were also imaginative. They came along here and said, we'll call this New Zealand. Ugh. There we go. So we're nearly at Plymouth. New Plymouth, sorry. 35 nautical miles. And uh, yeah. I hope uh, Ambitious Pilot releases uh, an update very, very quickly for uh, his toolbar pushback because this cursor that changes to a resizing cursor is really bugging me. There we go, see? And the top should be here somewhere. There's the top. 
And there is the right. For some reason, it just doesn't... Uh, it's as if it's on in the background. Don't know if we can just switch it on and... So you see? There, right? There's a resizing bar. Let's close it. And the resizing bar is still there. There. there and it plays havoc sometimes because if you're trying to um, do something here like for example let's line that up so there that will interfere with something you want to do You see me. Where are you? Who's that? Squishy. Squishy. Thank you for the follow, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What does that mean, uh, uh, Solar Hawk? You see me. Are you flying in? Are you coming into the uh, the sim? So, how are you, Squishy? Do you fly Microsoft Flight Sim? And if you do, do you fly the DC-6? Look at that beauty. It'd probably be nice to own one of those and really, really pimp it up inside, eh? So there we are, we are 20, uh, 21 nautical miles from New Plymouth. And then we have our final leg into Auckland where I will attempt to fly this thing using the localizer function in the gyro pilot right there. I have the final waypoint uh, for the VOR, sorry, frequency programmed in there. And then I will set my standby frequency for the localizer at Auckland Airport. Slight little adjustment uh, to the left. Two clicks. Let's go. Three clicks. There we go. We can go back. One, two, and three. So there is the coastline of the South Island oh sorry we are on the we're on the North Island sorry <laughs> see I don't even know where we are GPS doesn't tell me all I'm doing is following a pointer yep my whole route is based on that single pointer there 
13 nautical miles. I got my co-pilot in the back. He's got his old sextant out. And uh, he's uh, plotting or he's navigating or trying to. Do they use sextants on aeroplanes or only ships? I don't know. I don't know. There we are, 10 nautical miles. Beautiful, beautiful landscape down there. Oh, is that, uh, what mountain is that? That's not the old big mountain, is it? Hold on, let's have a look. That's Egmont, Egmont National Park. I guess that's called Egmont Mountain, I don't know. How far are we now? Six nautical miles. And then according to my map, after this uh, waypoint, we've got to turn to a heading of about 350 degrees. Hopefully we will pick up the BOR before that. Okay, three nautical miles, needle's going to flip. I wonder if we can actually see the VOR in the scenery. Okay, must be here at this airport. Small little airport here. But no, we don't see any. Okay, it's flipping there. I mean, the, the needle is flipping. Okay, let's... Uh, Go to our other VOR. Nope. We don't have it yet. So let's uh, move to 350 degrees. As per my map. Three thirty, three forty, and three fifty. There we are. That'll do. A little bit of tune in there. And there we are, we're good. 350. Now we wait for this needle to pop up. And Auckland is over there somewhere. And we will be up. We need to tune in now the Auckland ILS uh, loca localizer frequency. 110 
30. There we are. And hopefully, we can intercept the localizer. I say that with very little confidence. There we are. Is that someone I know? Nope. Okay. So let's see how far. We should be picking it up. One one six four zero. Yep. No problem. We're going in the right direction, sort of. Auckland is over there somewhere. We're about five degrees off. Here we are around there so we want to be about there 350 there we are good Let's see where that caravan is. There's the caravan. Must be going to uh, Auckland as well, I would assume. Still no VOR. That's fine. I'm sure we're heading in the right direction. In a bit i'm going to start my descent into uh to 3000 feet
and just for in case you want to know that's where we are actually so there's Auckland right there so there's Auckland and this is where we are And we're heading to this VOR right there. 11640. So hopefully we should uh, be fine. I don't know why I'm not picking it up yet though. 116, yeah, that's fine. It'll pop in, I'm Okay, he slewed right in front of me there. <laughs> Actually, I think that's at Auckland. If I'm not mistaken, he was just behind me. We're still on a good heading, 350, that's good. He's just taken off. Yeah, the Cessna Caravan's quite a nice uh, plane. Just got the update for the Kodiak uh, yesterday, was it? Yesterday? Yeah, day before? Uh, yeah. Which is also a very nice plane to fly. So if you haven't got the Kodiak, it's definitely worth looking at. Let's see if I change to that frequency there. Do I pick up anything? No, nope, of course not. There we go. Go back to there. Still nothing. We are at flying heading 350. That's okay. I'm fine with that. This stainless steel PBR really looks nice though. 
the clouds reflecting off the cowl in there. Not long to go and we will do hopefully we will do a very nice localizer approach landing using the gyro pilot Let's see if we can pop it there. What is that? 11640. 116 Nope. Nothing. Alright, we're flying in the right direction. Oh, there we go. It's come in. 80 nautical miles. Maybe it was, uh, that's the range of the, uh, of that POR. So we will start our descent to 3000 because that is the height of the localizer <clears throat> and we will try and capture the localizer as we pass Auckland. Just adjust our heading slightly to get that needle perfectly in the center. There we are. Perfect. So this uh, VOR that I'm heading towards is actually past Auckland. So we won't follow this all the way till the end because Auckland will come before that. Auckland just must be around there somewhere. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to start my descent 
and get that started. 26 inches, please. Okay, let's start our descent, 500 per minute, and we get to 3,000 feet. There we go. There we are. Started our descent, 3,000 feet. Let's actually increase it a little bit. There we are, that's good. According to my map, I'm going to have to do a, a, a right turn to get it set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out towards sea. <clears throat> I'm going to go out towards the sea a little bit. And then realign myself with that VOR again so that I have an angle to come to into Auckland. There we are. Where are we? We are approaching 3,000 feet. There we go. That's good, that's good. So I'll level out 3,000 feet. Hirisho BG Hiya Thanks for the follow mate We're about to uh, Drop into Auckland Using uh, The gyro pilot on the DC-6 We've got here following some VORs And um, I'm just getting down to 3,000 feet and then I will pick up the localizer again. I'll point my nose back to 350. There we are. 3,000 feet. And let's point my nose back to 350. And get that VOR back in line. <coughs> there we are. Good. VOR is back. And that's 54 nautical miles. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to fly this heading now. <clears throat> so there we have uh, Australia over that way and there is the coastline of New Zealand <coughs> right there
and that is the ILS frequency for the local oh sorry the localizer frequency for Auckland <coughs> so I'll wait till I get a little bit closer we're still okay that's okay Which checklist have I done? Descent I've done. Okay, in range, maybe we do this one. In range, not yet. <coughs> we'll do that at the... Uh, at 40. I should be okay. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to switch over to the localizer frequency very soon and uh, wait and then set that to localizer and then wait for it to grab the localizer. <coughs> Once it does that, then we can um, do uh, uh, set our approach and try and capture the glide slope as well. So yes, this aircraft is quite old, very old, and the gyro pilot was something that existed long before um, the autopilots you see today. <coughs> okay, so let's do our uh, in-range check. They're all coming on. On low. Fuel tank selectors. Mains on. Cross feed off. Hydraulic bypass valve. Down. No smoking signs. On. <coughs> In range checks. Complete. Okay, so those are done. Let's drop the, let's change to this frequency and see what happens. Okay, that's fine. Looking on my map, I know roughly where I need to switch on my localizer. <coughs> hopefully, hopefully it works. Fingers crossed. How many of you um, fly the DC-6? And, have, and, and know how to land this thing. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I'm going to... Let me see what happens if I do this. Whoop, there we go. Okay, I've got that set. Localizer has been selected. Let's see if we can capture it. Oh, actually, before that, let me just do a little turn. <coughs> To north. There we are, north. Okay. <coughs> and localizer. 
and then we got to be quite quick to do the before landing check. Can we see the runway yet? No, we can't even see the airport yet. Hmm. <coughs> so that was that A320 fly by uh, A320 coming into Auckland. That came in from the west. Okay, I've just picked something up here. Okay, so it's picking up the ILS there, uh, the localizer. Good, good. 25 nautical miles out. All right, that's good. We're okay. We don't want to follow that right now because I want to catch the localizer. <coughs> so, we are nearly there. Localizer is set. Okay. Altitude is good. And we'll know if we've caught it because then we will start to turn right, hopefully. Got to be over here somewhere. <coughs> That's got to be Auckland over there where the aircraft has landed. It's 30 degrees off to the right. So yeah, it's about there. That's right. Good. <coughs> Come on. Fingers crossed. 11030. 11030. That's correct. There we go, 40 degrees off uh, on the right. And there we go, it caught the localizer. Woohoo! Let's see. So let's do our before landing checklist. So you can see the needle is starting to line up there. Uh, before landing checks. Flap 20. Actually, maybe it was too early. <laughs> it's going to drop my landing gear. We'll put the gear back up. 
I did it too early. Okay, now we're waiting for this to uh, line up. Let's just uh, pop the and uh, landing gear back up. <coughs> there we are. Gives us a bit more speed. Can I see the runway? Where are you? Ah, oh, there. There's uh, Auckland. So we should be lining up with it. Yep, slight bank. Approach mode. Should be lining up. Come on, nothing's happening. Okay, nose has dropped. There we go, we're in the glide slope. <coughs> oh, that was alright. We can uh, reduce a bit of throttle. There we go. Keep that line in the center. So we want to make a perfect cross there. So you can see that's lining up now. That's coming across. And that's our glide slope there. We want to keep that perfectly lined up. We can slow down a bit by dropping the undercarriage now. Here we go. <coughs> Little bit of throttle ease back. There we go, lining up. We're a little bit high. I'll pull back on the throttle a bit. Let the nose drop a little bit. There we are. <coughs> there we are. Let's keep it the throttle there. It's about 110. 110 I said that'll be alright we're still on course to hit the deck properly we're still a little bit high so let's drop our uh, throttle bring that nose down there we are So that my aim is to keep this perfectly on that line. So now we're going to give a bit more throttle. Bit more throttle. Bring that line back. There we go. Bringing that line back. 
Here we are. That's good. Oh. There we go. We're perfect now. Pull back on the throttle. Maintain. That's a decent. Okay, now we're going a little bit high. So let's just pull back. Bring our uh, V vertical speed down a bit. Here we go. We're okay. We're lining up. And there we go. Bring it, keep it at a hundred. We should be good. We should be good. There we are. So we're a bit high, a bit low. So let's uh, increase our uh, throttle. Bring that line back down again. Ooh. There we go, bringing that line back down again. There we go, bring it back to 100. There we go. We're nearly on the ground. There we go. There we are. Welcome to Auckland. Bit heavy there. There we go. Welcome to Auckland. Oh. After landing. So notice the uh, localizer puts you a little offset, doesn't it? It was a bit weird. Okay, let's just park it somewhere. Where is the... There we can be there. Okay, we can park here, uh, turn here, and we will park here. Further on. And uh, there should be parking over here. Ah, oh, there we go.
Welcome to Auckland. And there we go. We can park here at 77. And parking brake is set. And there we are. Engines will be cut. And let's open up uh, front cabin, cargo holds, there we go, there we go. And everything comes out. And there we are. Really? There we are. Wheel chocks. And there we go. All of that sorted out. There we are. Welcome to Auckland. <coughs> that brings us to the end of the stream. Hope you enjoy that. I definitely did. And uh, yeah, if you haven't or you haven't done it before, try flying VOR to VOR. It's really, really nice. And um, yeah. Anyway, thank you everyone. For joining the stream and thank you for baguette baguettein uh squishy hirosho uh, underscore bg thank you for the follows mate and um oh mamba gator simulations i nearly forgot you and uh fly wheels thank you thank you for your follows mate all right good hope you enjoyed that I will catch you on the next one. You all take care now. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.